So the popular psychedelic drugs, some of these are may or may not be psychedelic. I just wanted to just run down the list and talk about their use, their potential use in as aphrodisiacs or sexually. I think we would all agree that the two DMTs don't really go with sex very much. Would everyone agree with that? <laughs> Anybody had any great sexual experience on DMT? <laughs> you have? Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> sex with God. Once on sex with God. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Ayahuasca and San Pedro I put in the same category because they're uh, very sensual. People often feel like, feel more embodied and feel like being close to other people's bodies. But I think there's something about the throwing up in a pail that's really not conducive to sex. And being in those big group rooms. At least not the way I, it's not attractive to me. Ketamine, I haven't really couldn't find any studies on this and I don't have personal experience. I know club kids talk about having sex on ketamine but it's not really uh, well known, that's not what it's most well known for. LSD and psilocybin. So LSD, Timothy Leary famously said in his 1966 interview in Playboy magazine, LSD is the greatest aphrodisiac ever invented by man. Well, Dr. Leary is one of my personal heroes in life. I really love how Dr. Leary has, uh, was a champion and was really suffered for uh, championing the rights of the individual to explore our own minds. But he also was not shy about hyperbole and promoting him LSD and himself. So <laughs> I think that LSD and psilocybin are, I think everyone knows they're pretty much a crapshoot. You may have great sex on them, but you may also, in the middle of having the greatest sex of your life, become utterly fascinated by that spot on the wall. <laughs> and uh, th that's great. That's just as interesting. Um, so I think that people, people are lots of reports of people having great experiences on LSD and psilocybin. But again, they're not really predictable. MDMA is not technically a, a psychedelic, although an empathogen, although it, a lot of people put it in that category. We're going to talk more about MDMA later. And cannabis is not really a psychedelic, although some people uh, experience psychedelic qualities on uh, cannabis. Cannabis is well known as an aphrodisiac. People get feel more sensual in their bodies. Again, you could be making love or you could decide you'd rather just go for the Cheetos. So again, it's all kind of a, a crapshoot.